God didn't intend for you to die. He planted us here, Adam and Eve, to live forever in the garden. But oh, Satan, as he usually does, steals, kills, and destroys, and lies. How many have ever been lied to by the devil? Every one of us. Amen. How many has ever bought into the lie? Every one of us. Amen. But God is saying today, because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, I now can come back together, one as unto the Lord. Somebody needs to say, Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I'm one as unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Even Job in the Old Testament in chapter 19, verse 26. In the Old Testament, Job says, And though... After my skin, worms destroy this body, yet, say yet, yes. in my flesh shall I see God. Hallelujah. Yet in my flesh I shall see God. Jesus died for our bodies as well as our spirits. When we take communion, we are taken to bread because Jesus took the stripes on his back. For you and I, he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of his peace was, uh, our peace was upon him. And by his, we are healed. Yesterday, today, and forever, I am healed. And one day when I come out of that grave with God, I have it all back together like God wanted it to be to start with. Isn't that exciting? Jesus came to redeem the breath of life. And the dust of the ground. Woo! Think about it. The dust was what you was made out of. We say at funerals, from the dust we came and to the dust we return. Have you ever looked at any of the uh, discovery programs where they are opening the tombs of some of these uh, ancient people? And eventually everything goes back to the dust. Amen? But see, Jesus not only came to redeem the spirit man, he came to redeem the, the physical man also. Amen. And that's the reason when he went to the cross, he went to the cross for all mankind, for all parts of us. Who we are in the natural, who we are in the spiritual. Praise God. We will be reunited one day with Jesus in a new heaven and a new earth. We will be going. If you leave here in death, you're going to the present heaven. But that's not going to be the end of it. Jesus, just like he is reuniting our bodies with our spirit, he's going to bring the old heaven into the new heaven and the old earth into the new earth together. And we're going to rule and reign with Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't that exciting? First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 17 says, And if Christ be not raised... Your faith is vain. You are in sin. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all, all things are made new. Hallelujah. When my resurrected body comes out of the grave, it will still be me. We're not going to be a ghost. You're not going to be some... I've always wanted to be some movie star, some perfect person by what man standard. When you come out of that body, or out of that grave, it will still be you. He's not going to scrap the original and redo you. But you're going to be changed. Amen? He will take the corruptible, he will take the mortal, and he will restore it, refresh it, renew it into its original design. See, this is good. I just enjoyed that before I said it. We don't really know who the real us is. Because the us as we know it has been affected by sin and the curse of sin and death. Amen? So see, I don't really know my potential fully because I'm affected by sin, death, and hell in the grave here on earth. Amen? But one day I will. Whoa! Glory to God! Amen! Now, you can't blame God if you've got too many pounds or not enough pounds. You can't blame God if you like your hair. Let me be careful here. Um, let's go something else. You, you can't blame God. You can't blame God because of you not doing what you're supposed to do to take care of yourself. Amen. Whew, got out of that. Let me, let me wipe my brow. Glory to God. That's why I got in trouble. 
Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 15 real fast with me. And we're gonna, I tell you what we're going to do, praise team. We're going to let you all close the service. Amen. This is a powerful rendition of Arise Again. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 51. This is good reading. Amen. Amen. You got it? Say, I got it. Who doesn't have it? Say, I don't have it. Hurry up. Hurry up. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all, say all, all, be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Say incorruptible. incorruptible. And we shall be. Woo, look at somebody say, I'm glad when God's going to change you. I'm sure glad. I said, hurry up, do it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Now don't you husbands look at your wives and don't you wives look at your husbands. Verse 53, for this corruptible must put on incorruption. Amen. And this mortal must be put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Hallelujah. Verse 55, O death, say O death, where is your sting? Woo! O grave, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Three reasons for the resurrection. The body is essential to total human personality. I am incomplete without my body. Amen? Wouldn't I look funny up here with nobody? You'd say, where is he? He's everywhere. <laughs> Number two, the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And when I die, and when I am resurrected once more, I will be reunited with the Holy Ghost. Amen? And number three, to undo the results of sin at all levels. And the final enemy is death will be conquered once and for all. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 26 says the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Hallelujah. Both in the Old Testament and the New Testament we see signs and we hear teachings and they knew about and they look forward to the resurrection. If you are just spending all your time and efforts right here and you're not storing up treasures in heaven and you're not working for God here, you are in trouble. I didn't say that. The Word of God said that you need to be storing up treasures in heaven by what you do here. And that's where your rewards and your crowns and your, and your, and your blessings are going to come. I don't want to just sneak into the back door and just barely make it to you. No, I want to receive because I have worked and labored diligently for the Lord God Almighty here on this earth. Now, what will our bodies look like? Well, we can look at the Lord's body and we can surmise some things and I told this story a couple of years ago and I, won't, I, I think it bears repeating it was a story of a young man his name was Tommy Slayton S-L-A-Y-T-O-N Tommy was a 10 year old young boy that was taking a bath and he wasn't thinking and he took the TV into the bathroom with him and put it on the edge of the tub and the TV fell off in the tub and it electrocuted him. And immediately as he was electrocuted, uh, the, par the, the dad started praying. The dad had rushed in and saw what's happening and dad started praying. And Tommy, this is a true story by the way because his dad was a pastor. His dad related this story and Tommy was in a coma for seven months. Tommy was miraculously healed by the power of God. Tommy was dead. All vital signs and all functions of the mind, the brain, the body, the breathing, everything, the heart was gone, was dead. But Dad prayed. Dad refused to give up. 